Hello again, fellow agents. This is Agent Smith, and we are playing The Curse of Monkey Island. This is the third one in the series, and the second episode we've done so far here. So, as you saw, we are now in Act 2, and uh, Elaine has been turned to gold because um, Guybrush was dumb enough to give her a curse ring that he found within the hull of uh, LeChuck's sinking ship. So, go ahead and explore. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. <laughs> Put her in your pocket. She must weigh a ton. Uh, no offense. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't let her hear you say hey, that. Yeah, I wonder how many carrots she. Uh, no, 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 bad no, idea. No, bad idea. Elaine, honey, you okay? Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? I'd say she might be frozen with guilt. <laughs> anyway, sorry, bad jokes. I'll go away now. <clears throat> The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. It's a feral chicken. Neat. Neat. <laughs> it says, Welcome to Puerto Pollo from the Plunder Island Poultry Brotherhood. Plunder Island, huh? Oh, let's go this way. Check out Puerto Pollo. Oh, it takes you straight out. So, do I just like pick where I am? Where am I right now? Where's me? There's a fort. You just kind of click where you want to go, but they question mark everything, so that's kind of cool. We know that there's a fort here, and we know that there's Puerto Poya. Let's go check out the fort, just because we're here. There's a plaque now. Hey, that wasn't there before. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Or Untitled quick. composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art depicts our esteemed Governor Marley in startling lifelike detail. Uh, mm, no. They think that it's a statue of her that's a fake statue, but they didn't realize it's really it's her. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. Alright. So anything that's been named is places I can go, apparently. The bridge is uncrossable. It's just as well. There's nothing interesting in the fort anyway. Oh well. Let's see if I can pick up this glowing ember. Hot, hot, hot embers in his pants. Sure can. Ouch. Plunder Island Feral Chicken. One of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Yeah. Woo. I don't think so. Yeah, I guess I won't be messing with those. Hey! Ain't got nothing to say. Voodoo markings, huh? That's a good sign to start off with. Mysterious. Yeah. Let's head that direction. We're lucky the voodoo lady will be here. So yeah, okay, I see. My image was here on the map before. So now I'm on this side. Let's go ahead and head into the swamp. Looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. This head looks animated. It looks like Murray, to be honest. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it is. How do you oh, get up she's there? you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. <laughs> Someone all found right, you? a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. Yeah. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire earth. How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness He's persistent. are dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively <laughs> speaking, of course. Yeah, of course. Well... Do you need me to help you down? Help? I need no help from you foolish mortals. 
I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just no. let it ask. Don't Jeez, get me man. wrong, I do appreciate the offer. Doesn't seem like it. Seemed pretty inconsiderate to me. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull sitting on top <laughs> of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry it's been a rough day. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. Keep bumping into stuff today. All right, man. Can I pick him up? Can I reach him at all? I don't know if I want to carry him around. He's Why kind not? of annoying. Not really. He's Murray. Oh, either way, let's go check out this wreck ship. It's just like perched up across all these trees. That's pretty cool. I like this design. A lot better than the previous ones. Gumball machine. Admiral Sweetums Pit O Jerky Bubblegum. Five cents. I'm no vandal. I'm a pirate. Can I use my bag of nickels? I got wooden nickels. And they work. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Yeah. Sweet. What else we got to look at? Toy scissors. Let's just take those. I don't want those dull little scissors. Well, what if you need them? <clears throat> it's a bottle of paste. Can I take the paste? Yeah. Got some voodoo pens too. It's a voodoo pen. What a relief. Huh. How cute. A paper voodoo doll. I wonder who they're of. It's a paper voodoo doll. Can I take them? I don't need it. It's just a toy. Well, apparently it works. I don't need it. It's just a toy. All right. It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. It's the alligator's tongue, and it's <laughs> still moist. Ooh. I've learned nothing else to touch everything in the voodoo's place, voodoo lady's place. Oh, she looks so much better now. The animation style. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? <laughs> yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now when a big flash of light cover Aww. your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, <laughs> no stories. Aw, she don't want to know. She don't want to happen to me. She probably already does know, though. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Let's see if I can point yes, to this. Yes, but that's not you what I was referring to. You see these shoes right there? <laughs> I little, am a voodoo priestess. <laughs> Neat. She got little Ooh, animal slippers. Ooh, Manatama. All right. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, like every we fucking game so far, man. We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush mm -hmm. Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck. First by preparing the voodoo anteroot. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. Sort of. I didn't really ask for help on that. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. Voodoo lady. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. True. Yes, you're right. No one ever knows his name. Hey, 
Are you making fun of me? I wouldn't <laughs> dream of it. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? <laughs> All the choices are no. Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. <laughs> I sense that for the love of God, terrible no. has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. Mm -hmm. I finally proposed so to Elaine. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> That's that doesn't sound so terrible. And when yeah. I placed the engagement ring mm. on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that go. Chuck was a pretty mean guy. I was oh. talking about Elaine. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no well, time to worry about that now. Right we have off. to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Well, I, uh... Uh, I just remembered something. I've got to go. You did remember to hide the giant solid gold statue of your girlfriend from all the other pirates on the island. Well, not exactly, but, yeah. uh, you know, I... Go, Guybrush, hurry! Statue now. You're too late. Gone. God dang it. Elaine! I've Those got to get her back. Yeah, well, good luck. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm going to need some more help. <laughs> Dumbass. Someone stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Ooh. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Oh, okay, there you go. That is a good guideline, too. I had no idea this curse stuff was so complicated. That's nothing. Just be glad she wasn't turned into a magic swan. What would I have to do then? You don't want to know, believe me. I don't know. Isn't there a more budget-conscious way to lift this curse? You should be able to do it with virtually no out-of-pocket expense. Perfect. Hmm. How? Legends yeah. speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Oh. Huh. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. It's the only kind of journeys I like. I have also like. seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. <gasps> uh-huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. Oh. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, <laughs> I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Ooh. All right. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for yeah. the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. That's the usuals. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Okay, well. Blood Island sounds dangerous. 
You have to come with me. No, I cannot. Oh. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still in escrow. <laughs> But who will be the game's only female character? You've yeah. got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Ooh. Blood Island, here I come. <sighs> All right. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how so much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. So a steam and shoes fly off the ship. What makes you think the truck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. The Chuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Yeah. Big Whoop is pure evil. You should have said that before. Alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of the Chuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. Yeah, I was gonna say. You will return have to. to Big Whoop and confront the Chuck once again. Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. Hmm. Who did you say kidnapped Elaine? I suspect it was the work of the pirates anchored in Danger Cove. So just random pirates. Who are these pirates? No one knows. Ooh. But people speak of strange, almost inhuman screams coming from their ship late into the night. Hmm. Creepy. And their captain is a cruel, savage beast. The fiercest pirate ever to sail the Caribbean. Really? Okay. I think they're monkeys. Where's Danger Co? It is on the west side of the island. The way is extremely treacherous. Few men have seen Danger Cove and lived. Figures. Of course. This is gonna be complicated, isn't it? You have no idea. Probably more What's complicated that? than oh, any other I ones. said good luck. Oh, okay. Well, they're gonna regret messing with my girlfriend. Danger Cove, huh? You might want to stay indoors. This could get messy. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let me see. What else? What island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. What about this giant chicken business? Ah, yeah. yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Ooh. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This oh, well. was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. <laughs> what? What? Even at the scary part yet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh got sorry. ahead of myself. Go ahead. It was <clears throat> El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken. Tall as a man and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. Oh, no man. one has 
seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, well, they have a description of him, his then. blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching, waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He's going to muck, muck, muck the system. <laughs> he roams the island, exacting terrible <laughs> vengeance on those who would capture oh and eat goodness. his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. So much to ask about. Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. Why do you live in a swamp all the time? Elaine is governor of this island, too? Actually. Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area, comprised of Melee, Booty, and Plunder Island. Hmm. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. Right. Learned everything we can there. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. <laughs> voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? I don't know. It looks explosive. Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. No pass. All right. I think the rest of these are just going to say how to do it. Who? Talking about who kidnapped. How to lift the curse again, which I need a ring for. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. Maybe you never had it. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. Hmm. I want to know more about variable rate mortgages. Yeah, a Bad million idea. conversation options. Though attractive to the first-time homeowner, the rate reacts wildly to fluctuations in the market and can work against the buyer over time. You're best off starting with a 20% down payment and a variable rate mortgage, then refinancing at a fixed rate after one or two years as the market warrants. Could you repeat that? No. Well, right? No joke. Put that down on paper. All right, kids. A VCR is a video cassette recorder. Okay. I want to know more about a career in TV and VCR repair. So you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Stick to pirate. <laughs> Jeez, you can go on forever. And I want to know more about the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl. Really sweet guy. Not at all as bloodthirsty as they make him out to be. Shorter than you might think. Right, I think I've exhausted him. So the rest of these are just explain what I need to know again. Thanks for your help. Got Man, you. I tell you what. They had room for a lot more data on this, so they put a lot more conversation tracks, and that's fine. I love this kind of stuff, so hopefully you guys don't get bored by it. I'll try to keep try to keep the conversations interesting as I go, or at least funny. This little tiny baby feet. All right, well that's the voodoo lady's place. I think we've exhausted all of our options there, at least for the time being. We gotta come back and get you, Murray. Okay, well, the other option from the beach was to go to the town. So we'll go ahead and straight over to the town. Is that just exit? The kid looks like a frog. I want to see just a second. One moment, please. Curious to see the animation this way. Yeah, sure enough. All right, back in the Puerto Puerto Pollo. So we'll do a little bit of quick exploration here. You know what, actually? I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Before we go into Puerto Pollo, I wanna let this one stop here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel in the comments below and uh, for future um, shows or games. 
And uh, if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that button. Don't forget to click the notification as well to let you know when I'm putting out new stuff. And if you're interested in supporting this channel, uh, check out patreon.com at uh, slash ASRG. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.